yesterday I uh, demoed the uh, properties, the new properties functions on uh, on Air Manager 3.0 uh, from the beta, and I wanted to. Uh, I mentioned several projects that I might undertake, and I did have a chance to uh, implement those, and I wanted to demo those to you. Now, just to show you uh, that it can be done, the uh, nameplate, as you see on the upper left is a nameplate that can be customized uh, for cockpit layout for whatever registration number you'd like to use. I was able to take the uh, tachometer, the RPM indicator for the Baron, and create a user selectable uh, to engine one or engine two with the same gauge. And uh, then also created a uh, the NAVCOM radio, the King Bendix King uh, NAVCOM radio so that it can be selected to, to radio one or one radio two with the same instrument. Let me demo that. Let me close that. Go back here and you can see there's our panel layout right there. And I'm going to show you these one at a time. First of all, here's the nameplate. You can see calls, the properties that I've added are call sign ID text. This is the registration or number displayed on the panel. So I'm going to change that to November one zero Romeo. In fact, let's pick something more like uh, Golf uh, Alpha Bravo Romeo Echo. Okay, and let's say uh, let's go ahead and, and show the panel, and you can see how that's been changed. Okay, let's go back and look at the uh, RPM, and you can see I have a left RPM and a right RPM. I'm going to select this one. And you can see it defaults to engine number one. So I'm going to say, show the engine number so you'll see what that is. And I'm going to say number one. And the other one I'm going to select. And I'm going to say, show engine number and select number two. And that's all we have to do. Now when we show this, you can see now this optional text is displayed. I thought that would be handy so that you could uh, differentiate which is which, you know, when you... Uh, uh, change them. You can make sure you have them in the right position. Then you can turn that attribute off, that property off, if you don't want that text to be visible. But uh, you know, I can show you that. Uh, you know, we'll push up the, the left throttle, and we'll push up the right throttle. Okay, so that's how that works. And let's look at the com radio. Um, Close that again. And look at the Bendix King. And here we have uh, show NAVCOM number, display the radial number. We'll say yes. So you can see that works. And we'll make it NAVCOM 1 in this case. But you can see it could be NAVCOM com 1 or NAVCOM 2. And uh, we'll display that. Now see it, that it added this optional COM 1, NAV 1. Uh, digit there to uh, to differentiate the radius, so you can have them uh, marked, or if you wanted them plain, you could leave that turned off. But at least it helps you identify which is which when you're laying them out on the panel, and it works just like the uh, com radio would normally work. Um, and uh, I have this set up to work on both uh, air, the both the uh, FSX and uh, X plane, and it seems to work uh, well both.